Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. And in this week's video, I'm going to talk about some of the differences you might see using construction geometry in a sketch versus not using construction geometry in a sketch. Now, if you've heard me on some of my previous videos, you can probably tell I sound a little different. Well, I'm just getting done with a cold, so I'm going to try to keep this video brief lest I break into a hacking fit on you. Now, for the sketch I'm using with my example, I have two internal lines that I'm using to set up both the symmetry and position the sketch. However, when I go to extrude the sketch, those internal lines cut the sketch into quadrants. So, to extrude the entire sketch, I have to pick four times. Now, that might not be a big deal, but it is extra picks that I have to use. On top of that, if I go to add a taper to this sketch, those lines show up as boundaries for the sketch. So, Inventor will use those to apply the taper, and my sketch will get this waffled look. So, how can construction geometry help me with that? Going back to the start and editing my sketch, I can select the internal lines and click the construction icon, and that's going to change their line type and their appearance on screen. It's as simple as that. I now have construction geometry. Finishing my sketch, I'll go ahead and extrude this geometry. I no longer have to pick four times now. Inventor just goes ahead and sees a region and grabs it. So it reduces my number of picks. Also, when I go to taper, I no longer get that waffle look. It just tapers the outside. And that's all caused by the fact that Inventor does not see construction geometry as a boundary for a sketch. So that's where you can use it to your advantage. Now there's plenty of cases it probably wouldn't have made that big a difference. You might not mind making the extra clicks, but this can also make picking a lot easier and it can also completely change the results of an extrusion. So it can be really, really helpful when you need it. So it's just something to take into consideration when you're building models. It can be really, really helpful. That's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and shut up before my voice completely goes out, but I hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you next week when my voice is hopefully back to normal.